This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here is a look at some of today's top stories. Both winners of the first Ohio Vaxxin Million drawing are from Southern Ohio, and the million dollar winner is from Silverton. That is 22 year old Abby Bugensky. She just moved to the Cincinnati area earlier this year after graduating from college. She got her COVID shot the first week she was eligible, and she hopes everyone does the same. I originally got vaccinated just to protect uh, friends, family, relatives, anyone that I was going to come into contact with. And uh, the Vaximillion was an easy decision to sign up for and obviously a good decision for me. Yes, indeed. Well, Buginski says she will donate some of the winnings to charity. She plans to buy a used car. And meanwhile, the teen winner of the full ride scholarship is Joseph Costello. He's from the Dayton area. He says he's thinking about going to Miami or maybe Ohio State, but he's got plenty of time to think about it. By the way, the next Vaximillion drawing is next Wednesday. If you've already registered, you don't have to do it again. New, it, new to tell you tonight, Kroger is creating a Vaximillion drawing of its own. Anyone who received their doses through Kroger Health have a chance to win a million dollars prize. There will be five separate drawings and they will also give out 50 free groceries for a year prizes. They will announce official rules and eligibility next week. The Reds are holding a reopening day. It will be next Wednesday, June 2nd, when the Ohio health orders end and the stadium reopens to all. There's no parade, but Fountain Square plans to throw a party and show the Reds Phillies game on the big screen. The Dora District at the Banks open at 11 a.m. for pregame specials. June 2nd is also declared a ceremonial half day holiday. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here is Raven Richard. Hi, Raven. Hey, so we are talking about the chance for some thunderstorms rolling through in the overnight hours. Should clear out by the time we do make it to the early commute for your Friday. Temperatures, though, not too bad. Looking at the 70s for us. And by the time we do make it to the weekend, well, things are looking a whole lot better and cooler as well. Your Saturday, only a high of 64. Your Sunday, though, we do jump back up. And your Monday, not looking too bad either. But more chances of rain and warmer temperatures as we head into next week. That's your forecast. Have a good one.